everyone, this is Chocolate here, and today I'm going to be presenting to you my top 10 best moments of the Elder Scrolls. This list was suggested to me by Tuber, Watcher, and Video Gamer, so thanks for watching my videos, dude. Up at number 10, I have chosen Into the Painting from Oblivion. Part of the quest, A Brush with Death, the hero of Kavach is sent into a locked study to search for the famous painter Wright Lithandis. In the study, there is a mysterious painting that, when activated, allows the hero to travel inside of it, providing quite a unique experience. Inside the painting, everything is incredibly vibrant and textured along with the strokes of a paintbrush. The sky moves with saturated blues and the trees sway with their sharp green leaves. It's one of the most beautiful things in any Elder Scrolls game. 9. An Army That Won't Die Redguard after a perilous and victorious duel with Emil Richten atop a blimp, Cyrus is tricked and held with a knife at his throat by the assassin Dram. However, with his strength, courage, and sass still intact, he beckons for Richten to gaze down upon the restless league below. He tells the governor that they are in an army he will never defeat. He also then reveals that they never truly killed Prince Ator, allowing his sword to ignite and kill his foes before making a daring and swashbuckling escape. 8. Victory from Arena At the end of the Elder Scrolls Arena, the internal champion was able to travel to the Imperial Palace and snatch the Jewel of Fire from the claws of Battle Mage Jagar Tharn. This daring victory actually stole Tharn's life force, causing him to melt away and allow Uriel Septim VII to be freed from his prison in oblivion. Humbled and grateful, Uriel then named the hero the eternal champion of Temriel and beckoned for him to join him to work by his side for the people of the Empire, thus concluding the champion's long and trying quest. 7. Old Man Khmer, Battlespire Khmer Gregan was a clever Dirani sorcerer who was able to play a trick on Maroon's Dagon. In retaliation, Dagon condemned Khmer and his village to oblivion, killing everyone but him in the process, driving him completely mad. The apprentice encountered Khmer after entering the realm of the Shade Perilous. Though insane and forgetfully melancholy, the old man treated the apprentice with kindness, something they'd not encountered during their perilous journey throughout the battle spire. He also offered them information that helped them escape from the realm and defeat Dagon. 6. Lysandus' Peace from Daggerfall After the agent of Daggerfall was able to slay Lord Woodborne, King Lysandus was at last able to rest in peace. We are greeted with a scene of his undead armies being washed away, with Lysandus standing triumphant with his sword raised high. He sheathes it, then disappears in a bright circular light, leaving the city of Daggerfall to the living once again. 5. Blackreach from Skyrim On a search for the Dragon Elder Scroll, the Dragonborn traversed the perilous Dwemer Ruin to be greeted by the vast underground city of Blackreach. Illuminated by large glowing mushrooms and inhabited by a dragon, a giant, Dwemer Security, Falmer, and Chorus, this place is probably one of the most beautiful and dangerous locations in the entire game. I still remember the first time I myself entered Blackreach and how flabbergasted and taken back I was by its beauty. It is definitely an unforgettable moment and one that will always make me happy. 4. The Prophecy Fulfilled from Morrowind After the long and trying quest of becoming a hero of Morrowind, the Nerevarin was finally able to defeat Dagothur. After their smashing victory, they were greeted by Azura in spirit, telling them that they were now free, free of the prophecy. She granted them the Ring of Azura, and once they exited the caverns, they were greeted with clear blue skies, as the blight that once plagued the middle of Vardenfell was gone. It's probably one of the most rewarding endings to an Elder Scrolls game, as you see the dramatic physical changes in the realm that you've saved. 3. The Blessings of Auriel, Dawnguard Throughout the entire Elder Scrolls series, we've always heard of the demise of the Falmer and the Dwemer. As Serana and the Dragonborn searched for Ariel's bow, they were greeted with an unexpected and jazzing meeting, one of two last living snow elves, Knight Paladin Gelabor. Gelabor is obviously world-weary and ancient, but nonetheless maintains a pure spirit, compassion, and willingness to aid those who need help. Meeting one of the last snow elves is even more amazing than meeting Yagram Bagarn. Don't get me wrong, I dig the little fella, but Gelabor and Verther are just something special, and make the Dawnguard expansion even more amazing. 
Two, the Butterfly Room, the Shivering Isles. Upon entering the Shivering Isles, the hero of Kavach was greeted by Haskell in a darkened room with a metronome. After a confusing conversation, Haskell welcomed them to the Shivering Isles and wished that they served their lord, Sheogorath, well. Then he disappeared, causing the world around them to turn into a swarm of brightly colored butterflies and fly away, making it a beautiful and charming experience that was a perfect introduction to the whimsical nature of Sheogorath's realm. And for number one, I have chosen Meeting Vivek from Morrowind. Though meeting a god might come as a passing time in the Elder Scrolls, what would the ease our protagonists have at summoning Daedra, Vivek is something else entirely. A world-weary immortal who has dedicated his life as a god to protecting Morrowind and its people. Recognized as the Nerevarine, Vivek first tried to kill the Incarnate, but instead decided to help them with their war against Dagoth Ur. Much dialogue is available with the Tribunal, learning what the 36 lessons couldn't portray. His calm and respectful demeanor makes it seem more like you're having a conversation between two regular people. And I swear, I spent such a long time scrolling through each dialogue option just so I could be with him. I hope you've enjoyed my list and found it helpful, and remember to like and subscribe. Bye!